and welcome back. Today's video topic is about personal identity cards. Now, I've been in this heated discussion over one of my YouTube accounts, in YouTube comments, of course, where else do you go for a heated discussion, uh, with an Englishman about identifi identification cards, uh, ID cards. So, um, Englishmen, they claim that you don't need one and that it's stupid to have one because you have a driver's license? Something like that. Yes. Uh, well, today I'm going to explain why that is not the case and uh, why uh, it's good to have an identification card. Oh, yes. Uh, and how a Slovenian identification card looks uh, and works. So let's go. Let's go on with the video. What you are looking at now is my personal ID card. Um, I blacked out all the personal information with black bars, so you can see or track me down with it. But anyway, let's go on to how it looks. Uh, it's a rectangular shape, the size of a regular credit card. Um, and you can see the information it contains. So it has the Republic, Republic of Slovenia, which means Republic of Slovenia, the coat of arms. Then on the left side, your photo, which is in black and white, so it's easier to recognize you. Um, it has your surname, uh, name, uh, sex, uh, nationality, because also foreign nationals can get Slovenian identification cards if they look live here for an extended period of time, and so on. Uh, you have date of birth. You you can see I was born in '69. Uh, the date the this particular card expires. Your signature and uh, in the right top corner is a your the number of your ID card uh, with this protected thing that's seen from a certain angle. And as you can see. Uh, all the information it states what before it is in Slovenian and also in English, so it can be uh, used more easily uh, internationally, since of course the identity card can be used to travel to many countries. For example, you can travel to all uh, member states of the EU. Um, all countries uh, of the former Yugoslavia. Uh, let me check what else you can travel to. So we go to the Ministry of Internal Affairs, blah, blah, blah. It says a lot of stuff here. Uh, yes, where can I travel? Uh, you can also travel to Moldova, uh, of those countries that are not uh, in you, uh, Albania, Albania. Uh, Andorra, uh, so, so, so no, Cyprus is a member, Montenegro, Croatia, since you know I do not recognize Croatia as a EU member, or as a member of former Yugoslavia. Uh, yes. uh, Iceland, Liechtenstein, uh, and Switzerland uh, of uh, non-EU members. Uh, so yes, it is m much more useful than your driver's license, uh, since also children can have it. Uh, for example, a driver's license. Yes, it is a photo ID. Yes, it also in Slovenia it can be used as uh, an identification document. Since all uh, persons over the age of 14 are legally required to carry an, a photo ID document at all times, uh, because they may be at any time for any reason uh, legitimized uh, by the police. Um, so if you come here and the police ask you for your documents, give it, give it to them. 
because they have uh, the full right to identify you for no reason at any time, as stated, yes. So, children can have it. Um, yes, any photo ID can be used for this purpose, like a passport, but you're not going to carry a whole passport around on the street, are you? Um, a driver's license can be used, but only within uh, the borders of Slovenia. You can, uh, If you go to Italy, uh, you need your driver's license to prove that you can drive if you're with a car, and you need a uh, document, a travel document, like a personal ID card or a passport. Um, where was I? Yes, also you could use, for example, theoretically, uh, your uh, gun permit, which also has your photo, but that that's the same size as your passport. And again, if the police stops you in the middle of the street for no reason, you don't want to tell them you have guns. Um, yes, this would be all for now. So let's look at the back of the personal ID card. Um, it states your... Uh, Pl uh, place of living, so where you live, your address, the uh, you uh, the <laughs> the office that issued this document, so where that office is located, uh, the date of when it was issued. You can see a mine was issued in 2014, and your personal identification number, uh, which is interesting. You probably don't have this in your uh, Anglo-American documents. Um, every person in Slovenia, every citizen, has their own personal identification number. This number can also be awarded to foreigners if they live in Slovenia for extended periods of times and ask, ask for it. Um, yes, uh, but anyway, Let's go on and see how it is made. Yes, made. This is for a picture from the official site. So, how your personal identification number is made. Um, so, from left to right, it starts with your date of birth. A two-digit number for the day. So, if you were born on the 1st, you would get 01. Uh, on this picture, we can see that uh, there's... Gal was born on the 29th of February 1932. So, as we can see, day, day, two digit number for a day, two digit number for a month is second. So, February is 02 since it's the second month of the year, and then a three digit number for a year since we do not expect people to live over a thousand years. So, you just uh, Ignore the first number of the year, so we have 1932 in this picture. Um, yes, it all explains in this in Slovenian. So if you know Slovenian, you my awkward explanation will be of no use to you. Then this is the red number that is marked with RR is the register. So the register is 50. Um, then the blue numbers, this is the uh, number of a child. So, uh, yes, the number of a child born that day. Uh, males uh, uh, will start with a zero. Uh, and then the two numbers, uh, the so the consecutive baby of that day you were, so you get awarded these two numbers. And females will start with five. And uh, so 501 would be the first female child born that day. Um, and yes, if there are more than uh, 100 ch male children, for example, born that day, uh, this would be 100 and something, but I don't think that ever happened, like ever. Uh, if anyone's Imsho has uh, one here, please contact me. I would like to know. know. I would like to see that. Uh, anyone, uh, anyway, and the last number marked with K is the control number. Uh, and the control number is, as you can see, uh, something that is calculated. 
Uh, yes, <laughs> it's a complicated, well, not really complicated. Uh, as you can see in this diagram, you first, um, yes, you first multiply the numbers of this first part without the last number with the numbers you can see here in the third row, the second number row, uh, and then you. Uh, huh. And then the sum of these uh, multiplied numbers um, is divided by 11, and uh, the remainder is then, uh, uh, I don't know math terms in English, uh, so you have 11 minus the remainder and you get the last number. Uh, if you ask me, it's kind of complicated. In a Serbian personal identification number, you just get the last three no numbers of your father, I believe. So it's uh, easier to track lineages for the state. Oh, why exp I explained that to you. Well, it was interesting, but not really relevant to what I wanted to say in the first place. But anyway, let's get back to what we were talking about. So, why do people need a personal identification card? Well, as I said, because you don't want to walk around with a passport all the time, especially if you're just going shopping to Austria. Na prezdravie pol kultura. Anyway, yes, personal identification card. Uh, why not use just a driver's license, which, which is also a photo ID? Well, not all people drive. Um, if you need, want a driver's license, you need to pass a driver's exam. And you can only do that after 18. And even then, not all people uh, decide to do it. I myself know of many cases of people who just decided not to do it or do it later. But you need the ability to identify yourself on the street at any time since you are 14 years old. So what do you do then? Do you go take out a passport, which will cost you, what, 50 euros or something like that? Or do you take out a personal ID card, which will cost you, what, 30 euros? Less, 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 20 something euros. Uh, and is also much smaller and easier to put in your wallet. Yes. Uh, as you can see, it is much simpler, much easier, cheaper to just have a personal ID card. And if you're not planning to going anywhere exotic, it uh, it is perfectly fine to travel just with this ID card. You can get on planes, you can go anywhere with this, basically. So since most Slovenians only travel to Croatia every summer, you will have no problem without a passport. Now, on the other hand, the English, who don't even know the concept of a personal ID card, have to take out a passport if they want to go to France. Yes. Uh, I also know there is this debate going on, or well, not really going on, well, it's alive in the United States about voting. Uh, in Slovenia, if you are of voting age, you will get mail from the state that voting for this and this will take place uh, on this and this date, uh, and that your number in the voting registry is this and this. And you will show up to your local voting uh, place, so where you live there will be a public voting place, so usually in public buildings or schools or something like that. Uh, oh yes, also, also in Slovenia we always vote or we have referendums and stuff like that on a Sunday. Anyway, uh, you will show up, you will show your photo ID, uh, which will usually be your personal identification card, and you will get the ballot and vote. It's as simple as that. Uh, and I know that in America you have to register to vote or something like that. I really don't know how that works, but this is, we have it all automated and you don't have to worry about anything. Even if you want to vote before time, 
you can go to one of the before time voting places um, just with the mail you received from the state and your uh, document and vote even before the date uh, yes that would be it Yes, and another feature of the Slovenian identification card is, as you can see, all these lines you can see in the background of the card. This is actually a part of the relief of the Republic of Slovenia. So basically, they just took a segment of a map and put it on your identification card. Uh, and it's unique. Uh, they have some system, I don't know how they do it, but they do it so that each uh, document, uh, so each identification card, receives a different portion uh, of the map, uh, which makes them, of course, har harder to uh, forge. But I mean, who would forge an identification card? I never heard of a forging case of an identification card. If you have heard of someone forging a Slovenian identification card, please tell me. Mm. Wait. I hope we all learned something interesting today. I know I did. I, know, I finally learned how the uh, personal identification number is assembled. Um, yes, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please tell me what you would like to see in the next video. And have a nice day.